This is Matthew Robert Payne. This is the Prophetic Supernatural Experience, uh, Chapter 25. This is in Part 2, The Prophetic Person, and it's called Learning to Deal with Revelation. This is revelation of the scriptures that I'm talking about. This is dealing, learning to deal with revelation. Um, we've covered this uh, in earlier chapters, but it bears repeating and bears bringing out and having more uh, explanation. Uh, as a prophet in training, as a person who's called to be a prophet, the Bible will become and start the Bible will begin to become very rich to you as a trainee prophet you may spend many hours in the Bible reading its truths and searching for revelation and understanding as a prophet in training uh, you want to understand the world you live in and what the Bible says about the world you live in. As the prophet in training, you want to know what you, how your church stands according to the Bible, how your denomination stands according to the Bible, how your country stands according to the Bible, how the world stands according to the Bible. You can become very focused and very uh, driven and very excitable about the things of God and the Bible and the more that's revealed to you by the Holy Spirit the more passionate you may become now you've got to be able to deal with the revelation that you've been given if you're not able to express yourself in a pulpit you're not express, uh, able to teach what you're being revealed. If no one's giving you the opportunity to teach it, you need to be able to temper the emotion, the feelings that you're getting from the revelation that you're receiving. I find over the past few years, I found a wonderful way of expressing the revelation that I've been receiving is through writing articles, writing sermons online. I find a terrific way of expounding the revelation I receive is through doing YouTube videos. Uh, I believe that people will understand in years to come while those articles are still there and the videos are still there that yes he was uh, more immature in those days when he shared those teachings and he's matured a lot in uh, years after that and I believe I'll be forgiven for some of the things I've said in past years as I've been dealing with my revelation. Um, it can be hard to read the prophets and see your own church in your own country and denomination talked about in the prophets. It can be hard to read the uh, parables of Jesus and see that people don't understand. It can be tremendously hard to see the standard that the Bible sets and see how short the modern Christian falls from the standard. It can be hard to read about holiness and understand what holiness is and then deal with a whole lot of Christians who seem to have no regard for sin and righteousness. It can be hard living as a Christian in self-denial and in holiness and being set apart for God and not having Christians feel the same way. You can understand what the Bible says about being set apart, being a friend of God and not a friend of the world, and yet Christians that you deal with and mix with don't feel the same way as you. How do you deal with this revelation? One way 
that you deal with it uh, in your early days is you get puffed up with pride. You have so much revelation, you have so much knowledge that you say pastors are wrong, churches are wrong, the country's wrong, the church, everyone's wrong, everyone's wrong but you. You're the only one that seems to care and you're the only one that seems to have answers. Many uh, prophets uh, in training will go from church to church bringing down fire and brimstone and judgment. This is all they know because this is what they believe the Holy Spirit's telling them to do because that, the church needs to be warned, don't they? So there's many ways to do with revelation. Revelation in the Bible can lead you to uh, depression. Revelation in the Bible can lead you to become more passionate and zealous. You could join a cult. You could be susceptible to a cult. There's so many ways uh, deep revelation of the Bible can lead you. But the best way uh, that I could say uh, to deal with revelation is to teach. Is to whatever gets revealed, to write an article or do a YouTube video on what you learn. There's many young prophets that I've seen on YouTube, they've got tremendous videos and tremendous insight and revelation that they're sharing on YouTube. YouTube's just a fantastic place for a revelation and I learn a lot from these young prophets and wonderful people of God who are sharing what they share. There's a tremendous outworking of revelation uh, and uh, practical way. Um, in years gone by, you just had to wait on the Lord until he put it on someone's heart for you to speak in a pulpit and be used in a pulpit and God uh, have a pastor say, it's time for this person to speak. Uh, you need to deal with the revelation in your life in a practical way. Uh, if it builds up and builds up and builds up and there's no outlet, It'll cause depression or frustration or anger or judgment or pride and all unhealthy sort of things. You need to find, as a young prophet, you need to find a way to express that. Even if you just write journals to yourself and express it and talk to God about it and share with God and talk things over with God and deal with it in some way. Try not to become a judgmental, uh, stormy, fire and brimstone prophet going from church to church, getting kicked out for doing prophecies over the churches and warning churches. Of course, I've done that. I know many people who have. And me telling you not to may not prevent you from doing it. But I suggest you don't. And I hope you don't. I hope that this has been some insight for you.